So the Great Aussie Hike is all about the Great Aussie spirit of mates looking after each other. So it was really important to us in developing this event that we focused on human connection and reconnecting people after everything we've been through with the last couple of years for lockdowns. It's about getting together with your mates and working through our program to help support each other's mental wellbeing. I'm here at the Great Aussie Hike. I'm ready to join Stefan and the team and we're going to tackle this ridge up here, which will be amazing. I'm really excited to be part of this hike. You know, it's for such a good cause uh, and the people that have set this up, amazing. So good to come together and support the community. But I'm pumped. Let's go and get it, Stefan. <laughs> Great Aussie Hike is about mates working together, finding fun, friendship and happiness, all while achieving a goal of either walking 30 kilometres, 43 kilometres, 57 kilometres or 100 kilometres. There are relay options, there are team vacancy boards, so you don't, if you're an individual wanting to join, um, they're even looking at doing a Great Aussie Hike Kids as well. So they also have a lot of resources on mental health, food and nutrition and training programs. Um, they're also very big on the social media side of things, so you can join the community board and just talk about general life stuff, um, as well as your training and your program habits. And, um, and you can meet like-minded individuals, either those that like hiking or are new to walking. And um, yeah, really join a fantastic community um, and a really good challenging event where there's no fundraising, compulsory fundraising. excited for the upcoming challenge. We've had people on our program since last September. They've been working through all the different steps with their teammates and we're so excited to be actually bringing everyone together in person and completing this challenge on April 1st and 2nd. Obviously with COVID and everything we've all gone through over the last 12 months, it is just so great to be able to go ahead with our plans. Here we are, Great Aussie Hike 2022 and it is windy as, but that's not going to stop our spirits this morning. Today, many hearts are gathered here together. We all bring our own individual respectfulness into this morning light. Some of our hearts are peaceful and joyous, while some are heavy with burdens and sorrow. I'm participating in the Great Aussie Hike um, because it makes me feel a part of a community. And um, for many of you know that have seen my other previous documentaries or videos, um, on the YouTube channel would notice and know that my story about suffering from anxiety and depression and suicidal thoughts and how hiking has really benefited that and made it turn around a full 360. exciting news today we're doing a gondola ride so that's going to go all the way up to the top of Arthur's seat so you'll have beautiful coastal views um, and it's an actually a really nice day um, blue skies with a little bit of cloud coverage so you'll have really nice views from up there
we're coming into our first little checkpoint and road crossing here. We're all feeling really, really good. Hi, I'm Jess and I'm from Escaping Your Comfort Zone. I'm Justine, also from Escaping Your Comfort Zone. We're both leaders for the group. We're a hiking adventure community and our motto is that the outdoors does not care about your size, your taste or your fitness and neither do we. And we're all about um, women and non-binary folk Inclusive. and really inclusivity. So we do camping, we do hikes, we do lots of different adventures, rafting, That's yeah, nice. multi-day hikes, everything. Yep. Yep. excited me about putting this course together is the actual diversity that we have. We have beautiful cliff tops at the start down in Cape Shank. We've got absolutely beautiful fernery areas um, through Two Bays Walking Trail. We've got grass trees in that area. Um, down through the, the bridges and uh, boardwalks through there. Um, stepping around you walk into what feels like the Cathedral Ranges as you walk around the edge of Arthur's uh, seat. and the beautiful views of the ocean um, and Port Phillip Bay. Uh, day two, you step into the redwoods, you step down through the trees, you come out onto the beach, you got wetlands, we've got massive sections of boardwalk, um, beautiful open lands through the hinterlands um, of the Mornington Peninsula, and then back up into Devil Bend, which is once again hitting a whole different group and you through the the trails and through the water sections and it's just yeah stunning diversity of this region all right we're coming into the second wellness stop or checkpoint so we're at lightwood camping grounds actually so there's toilets here and this is actually a part of an overnight hike so i'll show you the the, the camping grounds in the first checkpoint hike um, is all about a program that we've put together At the end of the program we have a challenge so teams then choose from different distances whether that be 30 kilometers 43 kilometers 57 kilometers or 100 kilometers and something that's really unique and special about the great Aussie hike is we are very focused on things being inclusive so it doesn't matter what the fitness level of your mates is they can either walk five kilometers or hundred kilometers and still be part of a hundred kilometer team we let you share the distance We're doing so good for time. We're doing on average a kilometer every 10 minutes. So our pace is really good. The terrain we're walking on is like a sand based terrain. Um, but soon we'll be leaving the coastal area and we'll be entering more suburbs and then we'll be entering mountain landscape as well. got one kilometer to go to the wellness stop feeling absolutely amazing just smash that hill climb you can see the beach now or the ocean port Phillip bay and we've got beautiful volunteers 
here today. Hey, how you going? Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. No worries. You're a legend. All right. Let's check out this Blue Ranger State. So it's a winery that actually is up on the top of a hill or a mountain, whatever you want to call it. And it has beautiful ocean coastal views. So really looking forward to this winery and um, checking it out. So I'd like to introduce you to Leo. So um, Leo is going to be eight weeks old um, on this Sunday. He's going to participate in the Great Aussie Hike this year. He's going to he's going to be in the pram, um, and there's a section of the Great Aussie Hike that's completely flat on the rail trail. So um, yeah, I'm going to get him out there on the trail with me, and we're going to be walking together. Um, it's going to be great inspiration and motivation for me to walk with my little boy. Um, but yeah, Leo will be in future videos, documentaries and hiking journeys as well. Feeling good, yeah. So we smashed out the first 20 Ks. It's been a beautiful morning. Uh, sun's come out now, so yeah, we're really enjoying ourselves and ready to tackle the second half. What about you, Jacqueline? Uh, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but excited to do the next half as well, excited for the elevation. And we're definitely going to challenge us, but um, I think we've got it. Yeah. Looking amazing, you're doing a great job. If you're going through hell, keep pushing through. We made it through the top of the hill. Yes, we did. Powering through. Yes, Woo! we're feeling fantastic. Feeling good. Um, that gondola ride is going to be so exciting. It'll be like a little big kid again. We made it! Hey! Gondola ride time. Who's excited? Are you excited, Jacqueline? Excited. Yeah. That elevation. I can't can't wait. Nice. Gondola ride. It's gonna be good. Awesome.
Well, how is that? I highly recommend if you're ever in the area, Mornington Peninsula, come on the Arthur Seat Eagle. Yeah. What do you reckon? That was awesome. The view was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's very relaxing too, and it's very smooth and feels very, very safe. So well, even if you have a fear of heights or anything like that, don't worry, you're completely enclosed. All right, so we're arriving at another checkpoint now, so I'll show you that and then we'll um, have a little stretch and change our socks. So we have a, our training program includes a number of different components. Um, there's a walking program, which includes just going for your own daily walk and also doing longer team walks together, um, stretching and strengthening exercises, um, increasing your hydration level. So making sure that you're drinking those glasses of water every day. People forget that that's really important for mental health. We do mindfulness activities every day. So we start off with really basic things like breathing or learning how to you know, become one as you're walking around and block out a lot of other stuff. How did you like the gondola ride? Gondola ride, gondola ride was amazing. So to have that on our doorstep here, it's uh, yeah, it was fantastic. It's the first time I've done it since it's all been redone, and yep. highly recommend to anyone yeah that's in the area to come and check it out. The the views are breathtaking, um, and it was just a really nice way to work our way up that very very steep hill. <laughs> As I walked um, 100 k's last Friday, and now I'm walking another 100 k's, it's fair to say that my feet have not had enough time to recover. So the right shoe, the right foot is feeling a bit tight. A few little blisters creeping in. Um, well, it's at the 40 k mark, so it's not looking too good. So it'll be interesting to see what I'm like at the 100 k mark. I know mentally I can push through, but physically my feet are getting broken. So we're just coming into the pig and whistle checkpoint. Still as a four, and my beautiful family has come to meet me. So Max. Hi, Baba. Hi, Max. Hi, beautiful boy. Hi, Max. And Crystal, beautiful wife, and Leo, who's sleeping. How are you guys going? Good. Oh, pick and whistle. Wow, this is a beautiful venue. Look at this. Yeah, just at the pig and whistle checkpoint we've got eight kilometers until the 43 kilometer mark so um yeah almost done wow <laughs> on your walks you don't know what you're going to come across yeah. what does the fox say <laughs> 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 Thanks guys. Wow. Fun trip back. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You gotta play you gotta play that song for the next people. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get a, if we had we'll a sleep. Yeah. yeah. You guys need to go to the bathroom as well. Um, there's some bathrooms down there as well. Oh okay, no, cool. good. Thank you, no, yeah, I wanna good. finish it off. Okay. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you, bye. What does the fox say? <laughs> Great team here at Great Aussie Hike have even provided massages for us. So there's a massive awesome list. So um, yeah, no, thank you guys so much for organising all that. Okay. 43k done. Well done everyone. Great team effort. Yay. So I signed up for the Great Aussie Hike 2022 straight after the first event in 2021 April. 
So they gave me a year to train. Um, so weekly, I was doing just a walk with the dog daily, uh, five to 10 kilometers, just getting out of the house, just to really walk the mind and walk the body. Um, I'll try and do an iconic Australian hike somewhere as well and do some beautiful sightseeing. But from about five months to six months out from the event, I really started to step up my training. And I was doing once a week to twice a week, if not three times a week, a 30 kilometer walk, and then that scaffolded all the way up to a 60 to 70 kilometer walk. My philosophy is if I'm gonna walk 100 kilometers, I should be able to do at least half to if not three quarters of that challenge event in my training. So that was all the walking I did. Um, I kept the record of the walks that I did and how many Ks I was walking on a little tally that I had on the fridge. I put that on the fridge and that kept me motivated and inspired to keep walking. So I think I did a total of 2,170 kilometers of walking for this of training for the event. talking topics to help uh, just help strengthen those friendships uh, there is the leaderboard goal setting is a really important part of our program so it's contributing to your team contributing to your own goals contributing to the whole community there is food and nutrition information just what to eat on course or just basic you know snacks and ideas and stuff for general life and um, we also have a fridge dweller which is a little printable where you can print that out keep track of how you're going but also be focused on doing something for yourself every day well, the sun is rising and you can hear the ocean waves. It sounds absolutely beautiful. just picked up because we've hit Western Port Bay so we're uh, on the ocean now so just opposite us is French Island and Phillip Island so a really beautiful part of Victoria walk you feel that little bit of anticipation that um, that just beauty about getting out into nature um, and there's that obviously a little stress leading up um, from other parts of life so you know that that's something that's just going to be relieved when you're out on that trail mm. and just being out there you've just got the serene feel um, of being out in nature and just the sounds of the birds the wallabies, the whatever, everything's around you. Um, and that feel of isolation as well, um, which is just soul cleansing, clears the mind, and just a beautiful way to spend that day. Um, after a walk, it's always just really nice to, you feel clear, you feel revived, and it just, really hits home about what this world is for us um, and how much is out there to see and do and just be out in that nature.
So we're coming into heritage listed Cool Art Homestead, which is located on the beach in Hastings. So I'll give you a shot of the checkpoint and um, we'll do a sock change and rehydrate and get some food. Good morning guys, Tony from Medical Edge here. Uh, it's all going well here today, uh, nothing today but yesterday. Bit of, uh, bit of drama out on the course. We did probably four or five knees after the big downhill, which was um, to be expected, but uh, you know, look, that's how it is. Lots of blisters, uh, probably 20 or 30 blisters, um, and then uh, a couple of ankles as well. So uh, the rough terrain yesterday, which is a lot better today, um, will uh, we'll make a bit of a difference. But yesterday it was, um, it was a barrel of fun, but spirits are still high, so that's good. Hey, good, how are you going? Thanks heaps for your support and helping. So we've just hit the 70 kilometer mark and we're coming into the checkpoint at Crib Point. And also the 30 kilometer walkers, I believe, started from here. So feeling absolutely amazing. How are you going? Hello. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll give you a look around the checkpoint. Hey. So in 2021, I um, participated in their first ever Great Aussie hike. It was down on the Gippsland Rail Trail. And my team and I, we walked 100 kilometers and we came first. Now, since then, I've kept in close contact with the team at Great Aussie Hike. And both of us share an aligned values of hiking and its healing benefits, spending time in nature, how hiking and walking builds a community where we can talk about mental health, our families, our friends, and also help help us get through COVID. So I wanted to share some appreciation um, with the Great Aussie Hike. So say thank you for them, not only making me feel a part of a community, but also for listening and for showing that care and that kindness. Um, also an appreciation for hooking me up with some beautiful Brooks shoes um, from their sponsors. Um, but Brooks have been around for decades now and they're a fantastic shoe, so I'm comp completely honoured to be given such a great pair of shoes. Um, and also Camelback, they also gave me a brilliant bag. Um, Camelback is obviously a world-renowned bag brand, so um, I just wanted to say thank you to the Great Aussie Hike for not only giving me these beautiful gifts, um, and but also making me feel a part of a walking community. So um, yeah, a massive thank you to everyone at the Great Aussie Hike. beautiful was that boardwalk. I reckon it was easy two to three kilometers in length. Um, it's really really windy too so um, I do apologize for that but I've just been really enjoying today's walk. Been really just taking in the scenery. Um, sometimes on these big 100 kilometer events you can just worry about pace and how fast you're going or how slow you're going but I haven't had that thought at all today just really embraced every single moment and I've been listening to John Butler um, Xavier Rudd my two favorite artists so yeah we're at the 80 kilometer mark um, yeah I'll let you know how I'm going with my feet situation and blister situation and I'll show you this the checkpoint coming up too
feeling fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Check it out, how cool is this? Yeah, man. How are we? Yeah, good. Thank you're you so well, much for your support, well. man. Not this is problem. awesome. So what's this? Is this um? This is Herbie with some extra decorations, just a little. Nice. nice. Happy spirit. It's awesome, and I love the glow sticks. Looking good. You got to keep the party up. vibes going. Absolutely. No worries. Thank you so keep much. It up. Take care. See ya. Seven. How awesome is the Great Aussie Hike? Woo! Yeah, I guess for me, always finding a um, somewhere that's really diverse. Um, to get out in that nature, so you're going through the beaches, you're going near the uh, through the forests, um, and it just being in that different types of scenery, seeing all that is uh, what you're looking for in trails. And I think in Victoria, you can actually cover a lot of places very easily within a few hours of wherever you are. Um, so it's really really nice to be able to do that. A um, couple of hours drive, a few hours of walking and just enjoying those areas. How, how good's the Great Aussie hike? So you not only bump into awesome people, but you bump into families and it's so inclusive. So I've seen these guys doing the 100k walk so introduce yourselves. So I'm Greg. Greg. I'm Caitlin. Hey Caitlin. And Ben. And Ben. And there's also Josh as well. And they're a family and they're doing their walk today. Um, how old are you guys? I'm 20. 20? 17. 17. How amazing is that? <laughs> go last checkpoint 90k is done feeling good almost there <laughs> Where did I get an icy pole from? Well, from the awesome volunteers here at the Great Aussie Hike. Oh, so 90 kilometers to go. I mean, um, we've done 90 kilometers. So yeah, we've got 10 to go. Maybe a little bit less now. But um, yeah, now feeling amazing. All right, that's Devil Bend Reservoir. We're coming into the finish line. And I'm going to get to meet my little baby boy, Leo. He's going to help me cross the finish line. How exciting is this? Oh, here we go. Going. How are you going? Yeah, good. Yeah? I heard it's 1.3k to go. You can do it. Legends. Thank you so much, man. Leo's further up. Legends. Legends. Thanks so much. All right, guys, Crystal's here and Leo's here. We're going to walk across the line together as a family. Just missing Max, but obviously dogs aren't allowed in the vent. All right, let's do it.
2022 Great Aussie Hike done. 100 kilometers twice in a week. Feeling absolutely amazing. Heart is full. Uh, what a great event. The Great Aussie Hike are an amazing organization. Um, so we'll, um, yeah. I'll do a conclusion a bit later on. <laughs>